All right, fam, man, what happened? Um, it's your boy, Fine Man. I'm bringing out this last uh, information and t- before I bring out a conclusion on the Tamuqua Indians. I want you to look to the uh, to the side of the page and you can see the many different uh, tribes that were located in Florida. Uh, there were many other tribes that came down to Florida. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's a lot going on, but um, just check out all of them on the side. Seminole, Tocobaga, Tamuqua, Tequesta. Jayaga, uh, Calusa, uh, Appalachia, Ayesa, Miami. Um, but I'm gonna bring out this lap. Well, forgive me, I'm a little bit congested, man. I don't caught a little head cold, I guess. But uh, the Tamuqua Indians were spread across territory. Uh, were spread across parts of northern Florida and southeastern Georgia. Their territory was large and consisted of many different environments: beaches, salt. Marshes and forests thrive near the Atlantic coast. Rills, lakes, swamps, and woodlands covered inland areas. The Tamukwas were not a single tribe, but rather separate groups who spoke dialects or types of Tamukwa language. For example, the Mokama dialect was spoken by the coastal Tamukwa near, excuse me, near Jacksonville, while the Potala dialect was spoken by the inland Tamukwa near Gainesville, the city that I'm in right now. Uh, excuse me. Because of the uh, Florida's hot climate, the Tamuqua wore little clothing. Men dressed only in deer skin, breech cloths. Their long hair, black hair, was tied in top knots, uh, what you would call a ponytail today. Uh, and their faces and bodies were decorated in brightly colored markings. Some of these tattoos were permanent, while others could be washed away. Women wore skirts of Spanish moss. Their long hair hung loose down their back. Some women also had tattoos. Both men and women wore bracelets, necklace, and of animal bone, teeth, and shell. Colored bird feathers might be placed on their head door, especially vents. Animal fur capes of rose provided warmth in the winter. Uh, you can see this devil right here, Pedro Menendez de Alvarez. Listen, all these white people are uh, together. Make no distinction between any of them. You're going to hate one, you're going to hate all. You're going to hate the police, hate the common. Uh, cracking your neighborhood with uh, a sheriff sign up and all that shit. Uh, I hate them too. But um, if you see the cracker name, I was a Spanish admiral and explorer from the region of Austria, Spain. So that probably means southern Spain. Uh, re- remember for planning the first regular trans oceanic convoys for founding St. Augustine, Florida in 1565. This was the first successful Spanish settlement of La Florida and the most significant city in the region for nearly 300 years. He was welcomed by the chief of the Samoqua village of Siloy, where they stayed for a year. St. Augustine is the oldest continuously inhabited European established settlement in the continental United States. Menendez was sub- subsequently became the first governor of Florida. So, uh... Anybody with a name and then dead, I hate you. Um, these are Tamuqua women, too, my brothers. If you haven't seen my other videos, previous videos on the Tamuqua Indians, these are dark skinned, copper toned, reddish people. Um, resembles Negroes. Brothers and sisters, we are not Africans. We are the Aboriginal people. Um, excuse me, but I'm going to continue. When the French arrived in Florida in 1564, they brought. Um, Few available women. The single men sought companionship from single Indian maidens. Neither the native girls nor their fathers opposed matches between the Indian girl and the Frenchman. And that's crazy. I painted the background with the neutral colors to emphasize the two girls in the foreground. So, dang. All right. For adornment, okay. These are the stuff. Uh, I'm going to bring out this stuff. Um. Artifacts and objects, assorted bird feathers, dyed fish bladder, ear decorations, tattoos, shell beads, shell pendant with leather strap, copper earplug, copper pendant, painted deer skin, shark's teeth, and knee band. Let me turn this up in case it's a little bit too low. Uh, uh, ceramic pot and carved bone comb. Why would they need a comb for that straight? I don't know. But a uh, comb, deer, and buffalo pelts. For adornment, they have their skin tattooed in a bizarre pattern that they have no clothing, the men no more than the women, but that the women gird themselves with a little covering from the skin of a deer or other animal. 
the knot then tie over the thigh on the left side in order to cover the more private part of their natural endowment. So uh, I don't see none of these so-called reservation Indians uh, wearing the tattoos, but we'll continue. And this don't look like one of them either. Um, Chief Watina. Uh, this Tamuqua chief had described was described in 1564 by the French artist Jacques Lemoyne. So besides our notice Montanist, another uh, cart cartographer of uh, ancient Americas would be Jacques Lemoyne as being painted red and walking alone in solitary grandeur in the middle of his warriors. <clears throat> I painted a warm umber color. We don't give a damn what you painted. Um, to bring out his God-like powers. The turkey vulture in the sky connects spiritually and naturally to the feathers he wears. I'm going to tell you something straight up right now. Down in Elachua, there are so many vultures. That, and they hang on trees and power lines. There's so many vultures. You're going to be like, God. And they, they attack trash can. Man, there's a lot. of, And they big. I'm talking about super big. But, uh. I'm going to keep going. Artifacts and objects. Turkey, vulture, bird, raccoon tail. People eat raccoon out here too, especially lots of Eagle feathers, tattoos. It is, it is owls, uh, hawks, and eagles here. Hold on right quick. Okay, I thought I had a sneeze. Um, tattoos, painted fish bladder, ear ornaments, turkey vulture feathers, copper breastplate, shell bees, deer hide robe. Uh, church spear point painted deer high straps. Excuse me, like I said, I got a little cold, but I'm still keep going with this. And hopefully, you can hear me. Hoping I'm being clear. Uh, Governor the Republic's as head with the, this is still talking about the uh, Utina, the chief. Governor the Republic's as heads with the assistance of counselors, determines and reaches decisions on everything that is appropriate for the village and the common good. But they're supposed to be just savages, right? Father Francisco Alonso de Jesus, or should I say? Father, devil, demon, they, um, imposter, chief Satariba's queen. And, um, this queen stands framed against a strikingly beautiful saltwater marshes of Fort George Island near the St. John's River. Island living had many benefits, including security from t attacks by other tribes and the easy gathering of seafood and marsh animals. She is one with her environment as she gazes out from the shady coolness of a shoreline tree covered with ferns. I like the contrast between the figure and the hot glaring sunlit background. Uh, these are just images they repainted it just so they won't be nigga looking. Um, artifacts and objects. Egret. There are egrets out here. As a matter of fact, outside my door, there are uh, a group of birds. I'm talking about they always... I, I, I live kind of by a little field. But um, it's some birds... I believe the cassowaries, they're actually protected by uh, the law. Um, and they always fly in this little neighborhood. It's a lot of little indigenous animals around here. Um, it's crazy. But, uh, tattoos, shell beads, feather fans, them old women in churches. I'm telling you, they, um, you know, they, they it's still in their genetics. They had them in their fans all the time. I told you, man, it's crazy. Man. But, uh, Painted deer skin robe, olive shell, cypress tree with resurrection ferns. Let me see how much I got love here. Okay, I see I got a lot more. This might be a two to three page video. I'm gonna. All these chiefs and their wives paint the skin around their mouths blue and are tattooed on their arms and thighs with a certain herb, which leaves an incredible color. This process is so severe that it sometimes makes them sick for seven or eight days. Um, I'm going to end it off with this before I uh, get to the second part of, of this uh, Smoke Quiet Indian Read. I have a tattoo on my arm. I did when I was about 14, 15. Uh, I have actually one on my upper arm and on my forearm. I got tattoos in the same fashion that these people did. Except there was computer ink. Uh, no, no, not computer ink. It's called Indian ink. But I, I'm thinking it's from India. Though. But um, I got tattoos in the same fashion on my forearm and my arm. 
in the same fashion these people had got theirs. Before I even knew about a lot of this, but coming back at the next one.